Hello everyone, my name is Devishi and I'm here for the big news of this hour. Last night, mob attackers went inside the campus of one of the prestigious institute of India, JNU Delhi. Mob attackers armed with iron rods and sticks brutally injured the students and teachers protesting inside the campus. At least 34 are injured. This mob attack was unprecedented to the nation. The president of the Students' Union, Aisha Ghosh, also suffered from serious injuries. Her visuals from the attack are really horrifying. Her bold face was full of cuts and wounds. I have been brutally attacked by girls who wear masks. I don't know, I have been bleeding. I am not even in a condition to talk. I have been brutally beaten up. I was there with one of my actors. Aisha's father stated that the situation of the entire country is volatile. We are afraid my daughter has been attacked. Tomorrow, someone else will be beaten up. Who knows, even I may be beaten up tomorrow. Aisha's mother said she would never ask her daughter to back out of the protest. She also stated that there are so many boys and girls with her in this movement. They are all injured, some more, some less. I will never ask her to back out of the protest. Like right now when you are Gendra Yadav. Another latest update from the officials. Union Minister Amit Shah spoke to Delhi Police Chief yesterday and has sought a report but the police are yet to make a single arrest. Mr. Shah also spoke to Anil Bejal, the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi this morning and asked him to get in touch with university representatives. Students and faculty members of GNU claim that, that the police personnel and private security guards on the campus remained mute spectators as the mass attackers went on the rampage. They have also been accused of letting this attacker slip out. Many students across the nation stood up protest against this shameful act against dissenting voice. Hundreds of people from educational institutions across Mumbai began gathering at the Gateway of India on Saturday midnight, raising slogans and demanding that the central government should take strict actions against these attackers. Similarly, many students from Pune, Kolkata, Hyderabad and other parts of the nation stood up in protest against the mob attack. With the big news, I take a leave. With more updates, stay tuned with dailyatta.com. Thank you. Press the bell icon and never miss updates from Daily Atta.